You are at war with the Etruscan League. March north and capture their territories. This will allow you to consolidate Italia and ensure the safety of Rome. You must wage war if you hope to extend your dominion. Syracuse and Carthage own territory in Magna Graecia, so conflict with them is inevitable if you wish to expand across the Mediterranean. Otherwise, they may prove useful allies against Etruria or the Gaulish tribes to the north. Come what may, Rome will triumph. What do you wish of me? I will see you done. A province consists of up to four regions, each one containing a settlement, the hub of activity within it. One of these is always the provincial capital, a major walled settlement, whilst the remainder are minor settlements without defensive walls. As the main administrative centre in a region, the settlement contains both trade and military buildings. Settlements are the main consumer of food supplies in a province, so it is vitally important to keep food production buildings upgraded to avoid shortages. This tab shows all the units or ships available for recruitment in the selected province. Right-click on the unit or ship card to see its description. Left-click on it to add it to the queue, and again to remove it. Recruitment cost is displayed underneath. Recruitment time is shown in the top left-hand corner of the card. In order to construct a proposal, double-click on a faction from the list and then add diplomatic options by clicking on the Add Offer or Demand buttons and selecting one. The proposed deal will take shape on the negotiation table. Click on the button next to an option to remove it from a deal. When ready, click on the Propose Offer button. Heck. Good work. Rome has need of new units in her armies. How can I be as swift and silent, a shadow among shadows? No further orders. Ready for orders. Laying siege to the set. Our advance has been halted. Winning a battle isn't just about greater numbers. The balance of units and the general's ability are important factors also. Look at the strength ratio and any reinforcement information before committing yourself. But beware, if you are attacked, it may not be possible to avoid combat. The buttons on this panel represent your battle options. Mouse over each one to see what it does. We await orders!
Missiles, ready and waiting. You have orders, sir. General! Battle group awaiting orders. Ready for orders. Take time to explore the battle user interface. Press buttons and click on graphics for details of their function. Further information is available through tooltips when mousing over an item or from the encyclopedia. The game's speed controls are used to adjust the speed of the battle. You can pause the game or put it into slow motion, clicking on the central button again to return it to normal. Romans ready for duty! Move out! Astarte! March! On me! Astarte! Orders! Advance at speed! Hastati. Ready and waiting! Jupiter gives us strength! Your orders! Head forward! Ready and waiting! Right and fast! Our hidden units have been discovered! Under attack. Take him. Astarte. Commander. Commander. Brave Romans to a man. Jupiter gives us strength. Glory. Ready and waiting. Glory. Missiles awaiting targets. Valentes. Rome is mother to us all.
Well done. After your first battle, you may count yourself a son of Mars. Battle statistics are displayed here, along with the options to occupy or loot if you have captured a settlement. Ready for orders. This panel shows you the information about a character belonging to your faction. Their name, position on the map, traits and skills relating to their abilities are all listed, along with details of ancillary characters or objects. your command. Rome needs good fighters. Rome's glory is well served by your work in creating this building. The Faction Summary tab gathers together essential statistics and information, enabling you to check the status of your campaign at a glance. Ready for battle! your command. In order to move the entire force, make sure a general is present. Select the settlement or the general and right-click on the point you wish to move to. When you release the cursor, the army will walk to the chosen spot. We hunger for battle. At once! <laughs> Between friends, the gift of gold is often taken to be a sign of deep affection and respect. Are these words from a sober tongue? If so, then I must accept them even as I despair of them. Following a new agreement, a trade route has been opened between you and your new trading partner. Guard it well, as your enemies will attempt to raid it, potentially ruining your economy. How can I be of assistance? I do enjoy a little trouble. This is very good. Your agent was successful. Excellent news, I think. Your agent now has a higher rank. Your service. Commander, none will escape. A very large army or fleet spread over two or more unit stacks may not be able to fight as a single force. A faction can field a maximum of 40 units at one time across two armies.
Elites! General! Romans ready for duty! Elites! General! Grouped and ready! Elites! Fire at will for missiles can be toggled on or off. Keeping it toggled off will help preserve ammunition, but then your units or ships will only fire when specifically ordered. General! In the name of Rome! We await orders! Melites! Follow me! On me! Happy to serve Rome! At speed! General! Melee infantry! Orders! For the guards! Ready and waiting. Glory to Rome! Orders. Melites! Melee infantry at your command! Come <laughs> on. 
Good work. The settlement is now under your control. Good news indeed. Your general has increased in rank. Farms, markets, and ports supply food, and settlements and certain buildings within them consume it. Although food is automatically distributed across your territory, if total consumption is not matched by production, then food shortages can occur, which can lead to unrest and, ultimately, rebellion. Make sure you keep food production buildings upgraded. We hunger for call this a garrison. What do you wish of me? You have selected a character belonging to another faction that you cannot control. Please select one of. Good news. Jupiter has given your general a new skill. How may I serve you? A character's household is the objects, assistants, and general hangers-on that he or she accumulates whilst carrying out their tasks, and which in turn affect their abilities. They are acquired as the campaign progresses and can be assigned to a character Troops can be stationed inside a settlement to defend it in the event of attack. Whilst there, they will also act as a deterrent to any rebellious tendencies amongst the population.
The sea beckons. A new technology. The Senate will be pleased with your work to further Rome's intellectual greatness. My skill, swift and silent as a shadow. The road system within a region will improve as prosperity increases. Better quality roads increase the movement range of the armies and agents who use them, as well as the line of sight from both the road and the nearest settlement. They also improve the chances of detecting enemy agents. <laughs> 